for f**k's sake. Hello everyone and welcome back to another subscriber recommended video. Yeah, two in a row. I'm spoiling you's rotten. You're welcome. So Debbie left a comment wanting me to try encaustic art based on when I did the chanting tool, I nearly said to chanting tool, the chanting tool, wax artwork. So they wanted me to create some encaustic art and Anna commented underneath that comment and also wanted me to do some encaustic art. So it's in high demand and you know, I give people what they want eventually. But I've never done encaustic art, but I'm willing to give it a try. So let's get started. Okay, so I did do a little bit of research on how to make encaustic art. It makes a change. And honestly, it sounds like a bit of a pain in the ass. There are like so many different components and things you have to do in order to make encaustic art. And if you don't know what encaustic art is, it's basically creating a painting with wax. But it seems quite technical and I don't know other words. It seems like something that you would need to know how to do in order to do it. So this could go wrong, but it might also go well. So the first thing you need is some encaustic medium. And I bought this little box of waxes online, and this is what you use for encaustic art. I did read online that you can use like a pigment and then an encaustic medium, but I think this stuff is both of those things in one. So I don't think I need anything else. I hope not, because I don't have it. Another thing you're gonna need is some obviously canvas or some canvas board or paper or whatever. Paintbrushes, a bloody iron, blah, hate it already. Some sort of hot plate to keep the wax hot. And then a tin to put your kind of medium and your waxes in to keep them warm and to kind of paint with. And I had an amazing idea and I just bought Yorkshire pudding tins. Think these will be perfect for it. So I've got everything I need. I'll plug my little hot plate in, see how this goes. Oh, that was a horrible sound, sorry. Right, I don't need it on like super high, just kind of like warm enough to keep the wax melty. And before we get onto the rest of the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button and leave lots of comments on this video. I'm just shitting you, I really couldn't kill us. Okay, let's open these encaustic art things and see what these are like. Felt like a proper like shitty YouTuber there. If I ever turn into someone like that who says, yeah, do this and do that, just, just give us a good old slap. Okay, so I bought the vivid kind and we've got all these colors in here. I can definitely do something with that. They're quite hard. I thought they were gonna be a bit softer than this. Okay, well, we'll put them to one side for now. So my hot plate's heated up, it's quite warm. I put my Yorkshire pudding tins on there. If you live in America or elsewhere, you might not have Yorkshire pudding tins. So you might have to come up with some other fantastic invention. Let me know as well, in your country, do you make Yorkshire puddings? Or is that just a UK thing? I'm sure other countries do. If you just don't, you're completely missing out. Yorkshire puddings are amazing. Right, so that's getting, oh, that is getting hot. To be fair, I haven't even decided what I actually want to paint. I'm thinking for my first attempt, I might try a, like, little pretty landscape. I think that would be nice. So we'll obviously need green as a colour. So if I just chop a bit of this off, oh, bloody hell, and then put it into here, and then that'll just melt itself. This is also why I bought Yorkshire pudding tins, because obviously you've got six different things, so I can have six different colors on the go at the same time. I'll have a bit of blue. Let's shove that in there. We'll have a bit of yellow. Oh. What other colors do I need to make a landscape? I'm thinking like sky, grass, sun. I don't know whether you can see all that smoke coming off there. There's a lot of smoke coming off it. I'm going to turn that down a bit. I can't tell what colours these are. Them two look exactly the same. I'm wanting a brown. Wow, what colour is this? It looks black. I'll try this. I think it's black. No, I think it's dark blue. Ah, it's fine. Sometimes you've got to improvise. Some white as well. White always comes in handy. I could do some flowers maybe. We'll use some red. Oh shit. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was close. Nearly lost my finger. <laughs> I'll bring that up. I don't know whether you can see all the smoke coming off there. Look at that. There's so much smoke. It feels very dangerous. The thing is, I don't get a lot of wax in these, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do a lot with these. It depends how far this wax goes. Right, we'll just try and I want to add some green. Get some of this wax. I think you actually need to warm your brush up too. So like leave your brush in there for a bit. I don't want this wax to set straight away. Let's have a go quick. Oh, okay. 
Oh my God, it's like painting with paint. It dries very, very quickly though, but that's all right. So this is gonna be grass, by the way. Oh, this is nice. Nice little painting day. I think I'm going for quite like a expressive um, piece of artwork. I think that's what we're gonna go for. Not abstract but also not figurative. It's not very full coverage, I'm not gonna lie. The problem I have though, is obviously this paintbrush, it's got the wax medium on now. How do I get that off? Is this paintbrush just destined to be a green paintbrush from now on? I think it's gonna have to be. Put that to one side, I wanna do some sky. I'm gonna need far more color in here. I think I'm only gonna have enough wax stuff to make one painting. Because you need to think about this as kind of layers. So we're doing the bottom layer first and then we'll figure out the rest. So this is all going to be sky. Don't know whether you can hear the dogs barking, but they're going crazy and it's very distracting. Wish they'd shut up. <laughs> So relaxing having seven dogs. All right, that looks cute for some sky. I might bring the grass further up actually. I'm gonna need some more of that medium. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. I may as well. Oh, I just got an email from the lottery telling me my ticket's finished and I didn't win anything. All right, let's bring this grass a bit further up. Maybe it's make some like mountains, that'll be nice. Oh, this is going to be an original and artwork. It's going to be worth millions. Who needs the lottery? Okay, so now we've got our first layer. What I read online is you need to kind of set this and fix it to the surface. And that's where your iron comes in. Also, it has to be an iron that isn't a steam iron. So you can get like very specific and caustic irons. But they cost more money than just a regular iron. And I think that's all it is. It's just like a, I don't know, what, what would you call this? A flat non-steam iron. That's what you need. Plug that in. Right, that feels warm enough. I don't think you want it too, too hot. If anyone's wondering, I've just got it on the nylon setting. Right, and then we kind of do this. I'm really scared in case I ruin this. Well, can you really ruin this? I don't think you can. I'm just gonna set all this wax. Ah, uh, no, what happened there? I've got the color all over the wax now. Hang on, I'll just get a bit of paper. Oh my God, it is so smoky in the studio, I've just realized. I'm glad I don't have any smoke detectors in here. Right, I'll just wipe that off. Maybe you have to like set it like this. Just try not to touch the other colors. Oh, for f**k's sake. It's just melting all the wax off it. This isn't right. Am I supposed to put something over it to do this? I did do my research. I swear to God I did. So before your brush starts skipping on you, if you've ever had that feeling when you were adding the base layers that you're- This person used a heat gun rather than an iron. But I thought you had to use an iron. That's what I was told. I don't think my heat gun works. I do have one, but I don't think it works. Maybe it's- oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, I'm just gonna continue. I'll figure it out at the end. Okay, so I wanna create a sun in the corner. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. This is why I hate ironing. Time to create a sun. We'll put it here. Ugh, ugh. Oh, this yellow is so transparent. Mm. Oh, I've just added a dot where I didn't want a dot. It's okay. It's going to be all right. This is going to look absolutely amazing. The thing is, I was watching this other video about encaustic art just there. And this lady, I can't remember her name, but she was very, very like sweet and like, oh, la, la, la. And it, there's just like a very stark contrast between me and that person. But that's fine. You don't need to be like everyone else. Sun's taking shape now. I still don't know how I'm going to set all of this, but I'll have to figure that out at the end. Okay, there's a sun. <coughs> oh, bless me. I'm just going to try and fix these horrible bits where all the colors mixed over because of the stupid iron. I might try and get some parchment paper and do it that way. Maybe that'll work. Cover all this shitty stuff that I did before. I think my hair fever's playing up. I feel very like allergy. It's quite easy to fix your mistakes, actually. I'll just go back over it. I suppose also you could just melt it straight back off too, if you made a mistake. There we go, that looks a bit better now. So now I think I want to make some like nice little flowers and trees down here. Like I learned from Bob Ross when I attempted to recreate his painting. You know, if anything goes wrong, you're just like, whatever, whatever. It's my new motto. When something goes wrong in my life, I'm just like, whatever, whatever. Oh, this could be like a nice little poppy field. Right, cute little poppy field. I just want to add some yellow in the center of here. I think poppies have yellow in them. Or do they have black in them? I can't remember. Whatever kind of flowers these are, they've got yellow in the center. All right, I'm going to try and make some little happy trees. But I think my little happy trees are going to be blue because I don't have a black. This Yorkshire pudding tin hack was amazing, by the way. I'd highly recommend it. 
Actually, the really good thing about doing this is you can rest your hand on your painting as you're doing it. And obviously none of the wax gets on your hand because it's all set. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Also, with your brushes, you're not supposed to use a synthetic brush. It has to be a natural hairbrush, which is something I did research and read. Because obviously, if you use a synthetic brush, the brushes are going to melt. Just thought I would let you know, just in case you wanted to do this. I think they look alright. That middle one doesn't. And then I want to create some clouds in the sky, because obviously you can't have a nice little landscape without some clouds. It's actually quite nice painting with wax, I'm not going to lie. I obviously haven't mastered the technicality of it, but... I like the feeling of it. Oh, shall I try and do some detail and add some like light bits? Yeah, because the sun's beaten down, so you're gonna have some nice little light things here. Oh, I'm kind of into that. I might try and set this and see what happens. I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close though, just in case this all goes wrong. Okay, so there's my lovely little, we'll call it English poppy garden in the fields of something but i think that i think that's quite cute i don't mind that i really don't mind it i'm not even being sarcastic i quite like it the issue is that i was supposed to set every single layer as i was doing it but obviously i had that disaster with the iron but i'm going to try and set it all in one so i'll go get some parchment paper and we'll see how this works but i just wanted to give you a close-up just in case this all goes wrong this is what i made i made some gorgeous beautiful art so if i'm using my brain right this should technically work if it doesn't i'll be very surprised because it, it, well, it makes sense in my head. So if I just put some greaseproof paper flat on it like that, and then if I iron over the top of it, this should be okay, and it shouldn't ruin this amazing piece of artwork that I've done. Oh, I'd be so pissed off if it ruins it. Don't feel like anything's going wrong so far, because you want to get all the layers to set. Oh, I feel like I've made a mistake. Oh, I don't know whether I should have done that. Ah, greaseproof paper, my ass. It's ruined my painting. It all came off. That's not supposed to happen. I, did I use the right side? I used the right side and everything. It's mushed all my detail. It's taken all the yellow off my flowers. How rude. It's very disappointing. The weird thing is though, I don't know how you set something like this because as soon as you do it, the wax is gonna melt and run. I don't think it's possible. I think I've been lied to. I've got a heat tool, but as soon as I put the heat tool on there, it's it's just gonna mush everything. But I tried it, this is my first time, and I don't know whether I feel like I know more about encaustic art now than when I did when I started it. I feel like I know less. I don't know how that's possible. It might be that encaustic art isn't meant for very detailed, complex pieces of artwork. I'm going on as if this is detailed and complex, but stuff that's got like a bit of detail in it. Let me just look at some Google images, see if anyone's made anything nice with encaustic art techniques. Oh yeah, they've made some really nice things. Oh, they've made some really detailed work. Also, I'm talking out my ass. I don't know how it's done then. <laughs> some of the stuff on here is amazing. Oh, it made my work look shit. Oh, I wish I hadn't looked at this. Oh, that's very disappointing. Oh, that's well nice. So you can make some really, really good things with encaustic art. I don't know how it's done. I've tried it. It's just it's, it's too difficult for me. Okay, so that just about does it for me trying encaustic art. And it was it was harder than I thought, and it was trickier than I thought. And it was also just like a bit of an ass on, like melting the wax in different pots and stuff. I don't understand why you would do it that way when you can just use paint. I know wax you can get obviously nice effects with it. It's like a bit different to painting, but I would rather just paint. I would honestly rather just do normal painting than encaustic art. It is such a chew on. At least the way I've done it. I did do a bit of research on this, and I don't know whether I've done something wrong. I feel like I did everything right. I've probably done something wrong. But thank you, Debbie and Anna, for suggesting I try encaustic art. I don't think I'll be reaching for it again, but I do like trying new things, and I can now say that I've tried encaustic art, so that's nice. I'll put it on my CV. But if you're an expert and you know what's gone wrong here, then feel free to leave your constructive criticism in the comments below, but just keep it friendly. <laughs> if you did enjoy today's video of me trying something new, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I guess I'm gonna go away and try and clean wax off everything. I've got wax all over the place.